Which fraction lies halfway between 4 sevenths and 2 thirds? So we need to find the midpoint. Now one method would be to use the same method that we use when we're finding the number halfway between two whole numbers. We could add these together and then divide by two. But another method is just to use equivalent fractions to help us. So our denominators are seven and three and 21 is in both the seven and the three times table. So we can find equivalent fractions to four sevenths and two thirds which have a denominator of 21. Now seven times three is 21, four times three is 12, three times seven is 21, and two times seven is 14. So now the question's a lot easier. We can easily see what's halfway between 12 over 21 and 14 over 21. Well, that's going to be 13 over 21. Now, which fraction lies halfway between two sevenths and one third? So we could add them together and then divide by two, or we can use equivalent fractions. Again, seven and three are our denominators, so we can find equivalent fractions to two sevenths and one third with denominators of 21, because 21 is in both the seven and the three times table. 7 times 3 is 21, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 7 is 21, 1 times 7 is 7. So we need to find what's halfway between 6 over 21 and 7 over 21. Now this is tricky. You know that halfway between 6 and 7 you have 6 and a half, but we can't write 6 and a half over 21. It's better if we get this situation to just find more equivalent fractions. So if we double 21, we get 42. So 21 times two is 42. Six times two is 12. Again, 21 times two is 42. Seven times two is 14. So now we can see the midpoint. We've got 12 over 42 and 14 over 42. So the midpoint is 13 over 42. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.